I think you've given terrific testimony. I love hearings. You know, it's uh, less coming from this side, more from there. And uh, I, I think that uh, uh, you've been highly instructive. Um, I think that the testimony today has made clear that, uh, that AI holds tremendous promise, uh, just tremendous promise. Uh, and to the surprise of many people, uh, when they hear that it's been around for a long time. Uh, but since December, it's uh, uh, certainly, uh, in terms of uh, uh, media coverage, it's the shiny new object. Um, but it also holds peril. Uh, and so it's up to us collectively, and it's what your testimony is about, of uh, you know, what kind of rules of the road should we, uh, uh, should we write. Uh, one of the areas that um, uh, that I've uh, uh, I've been working on because uh, you know there can be an exacerbation of uh, some of the things that really plague us today. You know the inequities in our society. We don't want AI to continue advancing that. We don't want uh, a refueling of misinformation or disinformation. Uh, we want transparency. Uh, we want more competition. Uh, so, uh, it really is a very full agenda, and it's a challenge for the Congress, because this is, uh, we want to get it right. Uh, one of the things we know for sure is that the resources that are needed to develop much of uh, AI are, are very expensive, and for the most part are held exclusively by a handful of uh, high technology uh, companies. And this concentration means that most of the talent in America is prevented from participating uh, in AI R&D. Uh, this reduces, in my view, competition. It limits the boundaries of innovation. It hampers our ability to develop safe and trustworthy uh, AI. Uh, and that's why I've introduced the uh, CREATE AI Act, uh, which is, uh, it really is nonpartisan. Uh, it's also bipartisan, and it's bicameral legislation uh, to provide these resources uh, to all sectors of our society. There's not just one sector in our society. It's not just high technology. It's not just the public sector. Uh, it's the academic uh, sector. It's the small business sector. Uh, it's the nonprofit sector. Uh, so in order to... Um, uh, to get there, I think we need to democratize uh, AI.